City of Charleston police say that two men were stabbed near Tent City early Tuesday morning. Tonight News 2's Matt Elba got an exclusive interview with a young man who helped save one of the stabbing victims' lives. This is a story you'll hear only on 2. 22-year-old Devontae Lee had just gotten off work and was hanging with friends on Oswego Street early Tuesday morning. Just chilling, having a couple beers. I could hear screaming really loudly over there. Devontae says out of the darkness, a 50-year-old man pulled his car onto the sidewalk in front of the neighbor's house. I could hear him screaming like, I don't want to die. I got stabbed. I got stabbed. He was just crawling, banging on the door, trying to get in. Picked him up. I had another chair over there elevated to keep his leg up, and uh, he kind of just like laid, laid back on me, and he was a big dude. Trained as an Eagle Scout, Devontae knew exactly what to do to keep the man alive. I uh, pulled up his pants leg. He had, he had a lot of blood. Like, uh, just from like me pulling that up, I got a lot of blood like, all, like on my arms and stuff like that. I started uh, yelling out for stuff I needed, like some duct tape, um, some, like paper towel rolls, other stuff I could use as like, an attack with God so I could apply the pressure. Next. The woman who lives here said she only met the victim last week, and he came to her house because he said he didn't know how to get to the hospital. He said he got stabbed up in uh -huh. Tent City. He's a good guy. He's a, He's a good girl. Samaritan. But he came to his rescue. Paramedics in Charleston PD arrived a short time later and took the victim to MUSC. If these things happen and when they do happen, you gotta be willing to act. Absolutely. Do you think you helped save his life? Yes. As everything was going down over on Oswego Street, the victim told Devontae that he was stabbed near the basketball courts here at Tent City. So we came over here to find out more. Hey, how you guys doing? We're just trying to find out a little bit more about it. Apparently a stabbing happened over here. Recording that camera. But I didn't stop there. I found out the stabbing may have been drug related. One didn't have the money and the other one cut him up. I saw Charleston police at Tent City Wednesday afternoon, but at this time, no arrests have been made. But witnesses on Oswego Street are calling Devante a hero. I'm giving you nothing but love, honey. Nothing but love, baby. In Charleston, Matt Alba, News 2. Police found a 56-year-old stabbing victim in Tent City Tuesday morning who was treated at MUSC for his injuries. Yeah, we are told that both men have been released from the hospital.